developing divide. Public opinion split down the middle on Anna Bly's time zone trial. We'll rebuild factory owners determined to recover from a devastating inferno. In court, the captain and first mate from the Chinese coal ship face the music. And first on nine, the inside word on whether Chappelle Corby is crazy or just faking it. This is Nine News with Andrew Lofthouse and Melissa Bounds. Good evening. Anna Bly has told her MPs to head to their electorates and gauge support for a trial of splitting the state to allow daylight saving in the southeast. Few other issues are as divisive as this one, and it's already pitting Queenslander against Queenslander. Anna Bly, a fan of daylight saving, fronted her MPs this morning to explain her about face on reviving the controversial issue. Even within her team, opinion is divided. Oh, I wouldn't call it a back. Maybe a trial in the southeast is a good idea. We won't support daylight saving in North Queensland. It's even revived calls for the far north to break away time to declare ourselves as a separate state. We've decided, of course, that Cairns would be capital of a new state. After 50 minutes, they emerged. The Premier outlined the options. Either a referendum or a trial before a referendum. Peter Wellington, whose private member's bill started the clock ticking on this new debate, is delighted. I think it's very important to have a trial. Many people were not here in Queensland 18 years ago when we had the last referendum. 18 years is a long time in the wilderness for this significant issue, so yes, it is about time. Big business backing the plan. Because it's costing in the tens of millions of dollars to, to Queensland business and the Queensland economy. The Premier was later still basking in the sunshine, inspecting solar panels at the University of Queensland. Her support for a trial is as plain as day. If we had a trial, then people would have that experience to inform their vote. The trial is likely to be held this summer. Where the boundary would be for a southeast Queensland time zone is yet to be worked out. Spencer Jolly joins us now from Parliament House. Spencer, is this a ploy to divert attention away from the Health Department payroll bungle? Yes, Andrew. Peter Wellington's referendum call was certainly a godsend for the government besieged over that payroll debacle. However, daylight saving and just where that southeast Queensland zone is drawn will inflame and anger many Queenslanders too in the weeks ahead. Andrew? Probably contested one. Thanks, Spencer. And we've had a huge response to our phone poll and it shows just how we really are divided on this. We asked you, should we trial a split time zone to allow daylight saving in southeast Queensland? We had over 10,000 votes and the result was oh so close. 51% said yes, we should trial a split time zone. 49% said no, we should not trial a split time zone. Well, even the suggestion of a daylight saving trial has the Gold Coast celebrating. Reporter Phil Wilmington is down on the coast. Phil, there would have to be overwhelming support for the move there. Andrew, down here on the Gold Coast, you get the distinct impression that they reckon it's time for a change, especially down the bottom end of the coast, where they've been grappling with those border time issues for years. <laughs> on the Gold Coast, daylight saving would mean more time for this. And this, and this. Even more daylight to mix business and pleasure. It's good for surfing, so it's good for the coast. Just the thought of it has them dancing in the streets. Oh, I'd love to go to the beach straight after work and stuff like that, but don't really get that opportunity these days, or yeah. in the summer anyway, particularly. So. And sir, what do you think? Daylight saving on the Gold Coast? Yeah, it's a great idea. Further south, the pointy end of the argument. This is the border, the great divide that runs right through the heart of the place they call Twin Towns. But because of the time differences in summer, this border town develops a kind of split personality. Well, there are several places where you cross the street and it's an hour earlier. You come back over and it's an hour later again. Oh, it would make life a lot easier. I've got a few friends that work in Tweed and live at Palm Beach and other areas and they just say it's a nightmare trying to live in one time zone and operate in another. For what it's worth, some advice from the wrong side of the border. It's the best, you should really do it. If the time trial goes ahead, the split time zone will move north to the Sunshine Coast. Absolutely fantastic. It's the best thing ever for Queensland, for the, the tourism. We really need it up here. Retailers agree, saying it could inject millions into the industry. I think it would act actually give us back an edge that we've lost by being not open that extra hour. But cows and their farmers aren't so happy. Yeah, you can't bring them home an hour earlier in the afternoon. It's, it's just going to be too hot for them. And the further north you go, 
the less appealing it is. I can't see any tangible benefits. Uh, it would create confusion in people's minds uh, and, and, and I don't think we need that for no result. Only time will tell. Phil Wilmington, Nine News.